Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. The FBI has been called out to one of the offices of Kerry Lake because they found some white suspicious substance uh, when they opened up the mail and also some vulgarities. Uh, they didn't say what the vulgarity was. If it's a left wing and nut job, I just can imagine. But what I want to happen is I want the same outrage is when Katie Hobbs was pretending like Carrie Lake had something to do with the break in like Watergate at her offices. Found out it was a freaking illegal who was in the country that broke into her freaking office. Probably one of the ones she let in the damn country or Joe Biden let in the country. But I want to see that. Give me that same energy that you were giving uh, for the Katie Hobbs. Give me that same energy you were giving for the fake break in. Uh, uh, of Nancy Pelosi's house. Give me that same energy that you gave me for Jesse Smoulin. The bubble fella who was the race car driver had the news hung up in his garage, but he's too stupid to know that there's a garage door pulley and the FBI goes out there. I think Christopher Ray sent about, I don't know, 15 FBI agents out there. Well, if the FBI is investigating Carrie Lake, I can guarantee you nothing's going to happen. The FBI is a joke. They're not looking for no evidence. Laughable, man. They've been having Hunter Biden's laptop for three years, and they're still sitting there investigating. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be Columbo to solve that crime by now. Everybody has the information. What are you talking about? you investigating. But I want the same energy. All the left-wing talk show hosts who was pretending like I was a MAGA for, for person who broke in Nancy Pelosi's house let me see the same energy, because if the same thing had happened at a Democrat's office, they would be outraged, nonstop covered. These right-wingers, this is the environment that we have in this country. But when the, nobody's more violent than the left. The left are scumbag demons. I don't have any leftist friends. When I find my friends, I stop talking to them because they're dangerous. If you're telling me that you don't know that John Featherman is not a viable candidate, if you're telling me you don't know that Joe Biden is not a viable candidate, if you're telling me that you have, we have the receipts to prove Katie Hobbs is a flat-out racist, and, and, and you're pretending as if uh, Carrie Lake is the problem, because all she said is that we should have a right to question anything. Anybody tells you you can't question something, they're hiding something. What the hell you mean? Think you're God? <laughs> Don't question anything we say. We are the government. We're the media. Just trust us. You've been proven to be liars. Now, I want the same energy investigating this break-in as the same energy that you give towards whenever something happens to some left-wing nut job who makes up a story. I mean, just, just go down the list of the, the fake crimes they keep acting like somebody's committing against them. Then when you have a real crime, nothing to be said. Just like they always talking about racism, systemic racism. We got the receipts on Joe Biden. We got the receipts on Katie Hobbs. When you point these receipts out to these people, we got the receipts of the Democratic Party. We got the receipts of Hillary Clinton, the race baiting Barack Obama, Oprah Winfrey. We got all the receipts on these people. They say ignore that though. But they want to talk about systemic racism. When we show you racism, you got people like Barack Obama. He endorses Katie Hobbs after it's already been proven she's a racist. This is the sheer stupidity. And they think that if they got name recognition, they just come out. Why would anybody listen to Obama at this point? Technically, technically we had 10 years of Obama. He hasn't solved a damn problem yet. He's the one. His people are the ones running Joe Biden's uh, campaign. That's why it's being ran in the ground. That sis ain't never accomplished anything. Without politics, Barack Obama would be nothing. He probably would be dancing in a drag show somewhere if it weren't for politics. The only reason Barack Obama has money and power right now is because somebody installed him in there so he can seem like he's important. Gave him a Nobel Peace Prize, married this Bush woman. Now all of a sudden she's prestigious, writing books and stuff. The Obamas ain't nothing without freaking politics. Just like those that the perverted family of the Bidens are nothing without politics. Katie Hobbs, nothing without politics. These people get power and they get all these people do they that 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 when they're willing power to give them money, phony book deals and everything else, then they act like they smart. The hell I'm gonna listen to anything Barack Obama says. Anybody who respects Barack Obama, I don't listen to nothing they say. Nothing.